Hi guys, today I am going to be making um, chicken. Horovats, I guess is the right way to say it. So this is like a package of chicken um, cut up into bite-sized bits. So I'm just gonna throw it all in there. My hands are of course clean. <laughs> Don't know why I said that, it's, it's assumed. In there. Next thing we're gonna do, it is basically <laughs> just me throwing in ingredients. So one thing is, this garlic, it's two, about two cloves. We uh, blend it up because we don't like chunks of garlic in our food. Just do that. All right, next. This is like a medium-sized onion. We blend it up, same reason. <laughs> this is a lemon. Mm, never seen one before. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm going to half. Why don't you cut it on the cutting board? You know what I'm saying? These are the kinds of things you say before I do this. <laughs> no, it ruins the light. Okay. So, but I kept the lemons in there just so they give more taste. Now, the rest of this is all just like dashes and like small amounts, not really fully measured. Like, I'm just gonna put some pepper. Some of this. It's not dill, it's pepper. <laughs> there go. Turmeric is pretty much just for color, so I'm gonna add that last with the uh, paprika, which is also color. Curry. This is amazing, it tastes good. There we go. This is white pepper. Very fancy. It's not really white, it's more just like gray or like an off green chip. Yeah. Okay, got that. Got that. The best ingredient ever, cayenne. I'm not gonna put too much because the children also have to eat it. There we go. Some salt. Just wanna make sure it's like. Because chicken has like very bad taste on its own, you know? Yeah. Tastes like nothing, Yeah. Okay. Now the two fun spices. <laughs> Paprika and turmeric for color. I wanna try to get it to be orange, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like orange is the most appetizing color. I guess what's your opinion? What's yeah, the most appetizing good. color? Orange is good. What's the least appetizing color? Uh, Green, right? Brown. brown? I don't know. Chocolate? No. Oh, it's like oh, le yellow for like lemons yellow. and stuff. I don't know. Mac and cheese is yellow. It's like orange. And finally, you can use mayo, but I, I don't like mayo. <laughs> I think mayo looks nasty. So I'm going to use two, a couple tablespoons of yogurt. 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 I call it Yarmir yogurt. Yeah. yeah. He invented it. Mm. Can't prove that he didn't. Mm. Next, I, I can. <laughs> Yogurt. No. So I'm going to slap on this appropriately sized glove. Oh, that actually was appropriately sized. And begin mixing this up. Try to like, just massage each piece of chicken individually, you know? Yes. Like one of those like um, Asian people at like the mall. <laughs> <laughs> I've never accepted one of those, I just don't trust it. <laughs> Chicken is all mixed up, look at this beautiful orange color, the best flavor, orange. <laughs> um, here are the skewers. Um, I'm gonna rack these up after about 30 minutes of letting them just marinate. So right now we are gonna go outside for the first time on this channel and <laughs> start a fire in the grill. All right. Charcoal is open. Now this is always the hard part, like getting the charcoal in. <laughs> so I'm just gonna line this up. Got a cup full of briquettes. I'm just gonna put them here. And the best thing ever. These little things like just light up and make starting fires much easier. We don't need to use like the gasoline. This one's huge though. So you're just gonna put four in. And then we're 
gonna light this, this bad boy up. It's m oh, there we go. I'm so glad I didn't hold it up to my ear. <laughs> I'll light this up. I think they might be a little wet because they've been out in the fire. And the thing stopped working. Oh, there it is. There we go. I'm just gonna light this up. Fire's going, smoke's billowing. I'm gonna start coughing soon, so we're just gonna head inside, let this fire start up. Do you, is, is the smoke showing up? Look yeah. at this, look like I'm covered in smoke. Yeah. Awesome. But yeah, look at that, That that's awful. <laughs> We always have to go inside for like 30 minutes for the fire to like fully start. And then we're just gonna lay over some briquettes <laughs> and then we're done. It started blowing right into my face. Cool. All right, let's go inside. It's been an appropriate amount of time for the chicken to marinate. Well, look how nice this chicken looks. You can really see like the skin texture and the wonderful like peeling inside. It's a, uh, it's a lemon. All right, so I'm gonna grab a skewer. and skewer a piece of chicken. There we go. Whenever I do this, I always get like so, not worried, paranoid is the better word, that I'm like gonna puncture through my skin. Cause look, you have to like put a little bit of force into it. Should I do the same? Yeah. And you know what I mean? Yeah. You wanna make sure there's like a little bit of space in between each piece of chicken. Okay, just need to skewer up these last couple pieces and we are done. Then we just have to wait for the fire, which should be almost ready. The goal is to have the coals be like gray and kind of ash already. Oh, that was a terrible last one. There we go, that's awful, but it's fine. Okay, this is all skewered up. All right, let me just make room for all these. And then boom, next time you see us, we will be grilling. Chilling and grilling. Yes. Okay. Coals are nice and hot, and I'm gonna use my next fireproof glove. There we go. It's not a lot, and most of them are kind of burnt. I think I, I let this uh, heat up a little too much. Leave that on the ground. This is sort of the fireproof glove. <laughs> I feel like I could never do this with like a real. Mm -hmm. There we go, with my bare hands. No, I mean, I could. You think I could be seen? No. I think I'm built different now. Okay. Nope. <laughs> that was a ball. Mm -hmm. Okay. are low and ready to go. Wow, that rhymed. Alright. I'm gonna just rack these up. Oh, and they're actually the perfect size, like, lengthwise. I always get super, like... No, I always say I get super worried. I'm not always worried. I'm a very calm person. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, I just always consider, like, what if this doesn't work out? But yeah. There's that. Now we just wait. Okay. Just kind of stoking the fire. So it's, like, it, it's coming along. I just need to switch them up every so often. All right, chicken is done. Nice and cooked. There we go. I'm gonna put it here. Grab two pieces of lavash and take it down so you don't yank it fully off you give it a pull and then you let it fall there we go now I just need to repeat this process like 30 times all right that is the last one let me just this, there we go. And this is always like the best tasting part. It has like all the chicken juices in it. But I'm gonna give it to Adama because <laughs> she's been sitting here the entire time. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Delicious grilled chicken. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.